Hey there, I'm Kendra from Bow Weevil Soap Company, and I'm coming to you today to tell you a little bit about our goat's milk soap fall fragrances that we have. Um, I don't know how many of you are ready for fall, but I know I sure am ready for some cooler weather. I love the fall scents. It's one of my favorite times of the year. So I'm going to dive right in because we have about 15 fragrances to choose from this year, and I want to tell you a little bit about about all of those especially for those of you who shop online I know you can't smell and this will give you an idea of kind of what we have to offer so I'm going to go ahead and pan right here to our first soap which is blueberry pumpkin this soap is amazing it's one that we've done for a couple of years now um, it actually has a very strong blueberry scent very mild pumpkin scent um, it does have a little hint of, a, of that pumpkin spice with it it's a great transition soap between summer and fall we did a blueberry soap this summer lots of people love that one it sold out quickly and um, so this is a great way to still be able to have some of that scent in your house this fall um, um, it does actually have the blueberries on the top. They have a very, very good blueberry scent, and there's some in the middle of the bar as well. So that's just a very wonderful staple piece that we've been having here for a few years. It's, it's amazing. Um, okay, so we're going to move to the next one, which is a coffee soap. Um, this soap was born out of the idea of Miss Linda Thompson from Leon's next door to us, as many of you know. Um, my, this business has been in business for, uh, just started our 23rd year actually, and we moved the business downtown about a year and a half ago and had the very, very fortune, good fortune of being next to the Thompsons who own Leon's for so many years, fell in love with this couple. The very first thing they asked of me was, do you have a coffee soap? So I immediately started doing some research and trying to find exactly, I wanted to make a really good exfoliating soap and found a wonderful way to do coffee soap. It is made with real coffee, and the coffee actually is from Black Cat Bakery, which is right down the street from us in downtown Enterprise. So uh, this is uh, in honor of Miss Linda Thompson. We have got coffee soap this year, and it is wonderful. Um, the next one we have is pumpkin apple. This is exactly what it named, its name says. It has a very crisp apple, light apple, very light pumpkin combined together for a very rich um, hint of spice, but also the hint of crisp. So it's a very good pumpkin apple scent. Um, it's beautiful. It has kind of the apple-y look along with the, the pumpkin-y look with it. There we go. All right, and next we actually do have caramel apple. Let's go this way if you don't mind. My husband is filming for me, Chad, in case any of you have ever met him in the store. Um, caramel apple, this one is so fun. It's just like, I mean, who doesn't love a caramel apple from a fall festival? We go to all the festivals and the peanut festival and all these great things uh, during the fall. And this is a true, true caramel apple scent. It has a strong, strong caramel and a very, very green apple scent. It's a wonderful, rich, very rich. For those of you who love the um, the vanillas and um, the cream brulee candle we have, y'all would love this one. It's really good. All right. And I'm going to take a quick sip of water. Sorry about that. Okay. Pumpkin harvest is our next one. This one truly smells like a pumpkin pie has just come out of the oven. It has all of those pies, pumpkin pie scents and spices in it. It does definitely have cinnamon, but I also smell a very, um, a very mild clove in it, which is very fallish. Um, it does have the cute little pumpkins on the top. It's so precious to sit out like on a countertop or in a bathroom, a guest room to give us a gift. It is a very, very nice soap. All right, and then we're gonna move over here to the side if you don't mind. The next one I'm gonna show you is our cranberry marmalade. This one is actually um, not the sweet cranberry that we normally are used to. This one is kind of a cinnamony cranberry because it has that little orange peel scent with it. Um, so it is a very rich in spice, I would say, cranberry marmalade scent. Very nice soap. And next we have cappuccino, and this one kind of came, was born from the same idea as the coffee soap. I know I personally um, love cappuccinos. Um, I saw a, a meme the other day that said, I, I thought I loved coffee, but realized I really love creamer, and that's kind of me. So this one has that caramelly, vanilla, um, rich, rich creamer um, kind of scent with the coffee grounds. Now this one does also have the coffee grounds in it, but it has less because it's combined with the cappuccino um, fragrance. So it's going to be less exfoliating than the coffee, but still exfoliating for those who like a milder exfoliant. 
Okay, and next we have pumpkin coconut. For those of you who shopped with us this summer, you know that we had creamy coconut, which was wildly, wildly popular. Um, wonderful scent, had so many customers ask me to keep it year round. So this is the same coconut that is used for the creamy coconut, just with a splash of pumpkin in it. Very, very nice smell. Has cute little shavings on the top to represent the coconut. Very good soap. All right, the next one we have is Grandpa's Sweet Tobacco. Um, Chad's uh, grandfather used to be a tobacco farmer in North Alabama, owned a huge farm up there, and this one was kind of named in honor of him. This is a sweet tobacco. Uh, one customer described it to me as it smelled like her husband's pipe, um, which was a wonderful, wonderful memory for her. Bought several bars for all of her kids to, to give to them. She said it smelled exactly like the tobacco he put in his pipe. It is a true tobacco scent. All right, next we have rustling leaves. This one is just like a big pile of leaves that you just have um, raked up together, but it actually has like the crisp smell that they have. Um, very fresh, refreshing, outdoorsy um, smell. It does represent all of the fall colors in the soap. We have all the beautiful changing colors of the fall. There is a beautiful soap in scent and in look. Okay, and next we have Crazy Nut. This is one we did last year. Um, so we were asked to do it again this year. It's very, um, almost a lot of different nuts combined, but almost uh, pecan, I would say, is the dominant smell in this one. Um, it, it could kind of smell a little bit like a pumpkin, I mean, I'm sorry, a pecan pie, um, which actually is Chad's favorite pie. Um, so it is a very good nut scent, very representative of the area we live in. Um, and it does have just a little bit of color in it, too. I don't know if you can see that, representing the different colors of the nuts that are used in it. Um, anyway, very nice smell, nut smell, if you like that, if that's your thing. Um, next, we have a brand new one this year. This one is called Sugar Woods. Um, this is an amazing scent. It's a very, very rich um, I would say the people who love the vanillas and um, maybe even a caramel scent would love this one. Um, it's a, it is a strong scent. Actually, when I walk in the door of our store, this is the one I always smell first. Um, used, used to it was peppermint. This is the one now. Um, and this one actually smells like you've just tapped into a maple tree. I mean, it really, really does. And um, I was... Um, asked by several people to do it in a lotion and all. So I went ahead and just did all the product line in this one. So you can get the oil, the lotions, um, of course, the wonderful shower souffle, milk bath, scrub for the dry skin that you have. Um, all the products come in this Sugar Woods, new one, brand new one this year. And then we have the long-awaited Cranberry Harvest. I've been asked by so many people throughout the year when Cranberry Harvest is coming back, and it is here. Um, this one does have real cranberry seeds in it. Let me get the wrapper down so you can see. There you go. Has cranberry seeds in it, so it is exfoliating as well. This is the Sweet Cranberry. Um, the, we've had this one for a very long time. Um, people love when it comes out in the fall because it's just very representative of those fall scents and it's just a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. All right, and the next one we have is Orange Blossom. Um, this one is an orange that is kind of a sweet smell. I would say it's a, I can't get the wrapper down. There we go. It is kind of a mandarin orange scent, I would say. Very pretty soap. Let me just let's see if I get my both hands on it here. All right. Um, it's a very pretty soap. You can see it has a swirl in it, a drop swirl. It has very cute little shavings on the top. Very, it smells very good. I did the entire product line this one too. Um, uh, most people just adore that one in the fall because it's it's the oranges, kind of the fruit you think about coming in season in the fall. Um, very, very good one. Okay, and last but not least, we have Kiss My Grits. Um, this is another one that we have been doing for years. It does have true grits in it. Can you get that? There we go. It has grits. So it's, it is exfoliating for sure. Cute name. It actually is kind of a lemon with a little punch of a floral. Um, for those of you who don't like floral, don't let that scare you away. Um, most people ask me what scent that is because they can't exactly you know, pinpoint it. They know it's a lemon, but they can't really figure out the other part and they're surprised when I say floral, but it is a very nice combination and what a great gift to give somebody that you would love to be able to tell to kiss your grits, right? <laughs> okay, so um, that's going to 
think I wind up what we're going to say today. I do want to tell you what my favorite is. I get asked that all the time. Uh, for those customers that come see me all the time, you know that my overall favorite is Pink Cotton Blossom, which we have all the time, and of course we have now. But my favorite fall fragrance that we make is the Blueberry Pumpkin. I adore this one. I think it smells so good. It was very hard for me to choose this year. Um, I can tell you um, most of my staff, um, when I ask, I ask them every season when we're doing these scents. It's fun for me to um, to see which ones they like the best. And they all picked this one. <laughs> Sugar Woods was their favorite this year. So, um, but you come see which one is your favorite. We are here from 10 to 6, Monday through Saturday. And we actually have a festival this weekend. We will be open till 7 o'clock. Lots of fun stuff to happen in downtown. We'd love to be able to give you a hand spa at our sink and let you smell all the fragrances and pick which one you love. Thank you.